Good morning, folks. A typhoon slammed Hong Kong yesterday, causing significant damage, and it's expected to exacerbate the already horrendous flooding there. You might remember the U.S. had to open floodgates last year. Chisholm Creek Park, Kansas, cyanobacteria, blue-green algae. Seeing more and more of this and red tide. If you're headed into nature, you need to be able to spot both. You don't want to lose a pet or a child or yourself. Quiet seismicity on Earth right now. 5.2 in Iran and some Caribbean areas are the morning tremor zones. Let's hope all stays quiet. Severe weather tore through New England and parts of southeastern Canada last night, causing blackouts and forcing a shutdown at a Jersey nuke plant. Surprise, folks, they say we're not in danger. Big blue circles on the bar toll indicate cosmic ray surplus earlier this morning. You might remember we were watching the proton count rising yesterday. I said that this dotted line is a radiation storm and we're hovering right around that low storm level. But even at those low levels, you can see the D level absorption near the polar region showing where that radiation is. This is from a few days ago. The dark coronal hole on the bottom set a strong solar wind stream our way. We expected it to hit yesterday. It actually hit last night. You can see the flat line yellow. It's a solar wind speed jumping from about 450 to 600 kilometers per second. Looking at the sun now, that dark spot on the bottom right is that same coronal hole turning away. The massive coronal hole on the left is around for yet another pass. We'll be here in a few days. Looking at those bright active regions behind her, up north you can see both polarities but in a very weak way. You see the red spot but no blue spots, just mixed background polarity. Down south is a different story and I know I'm not the only one watching these. You can clearly see much more defined magnetics. This is where our flare thread is right now. And let's look from this left side at what could be turning in just behind them. The top right here is those northern regions I showed before on the top left. And this down here is our current flare threat turning in towards the Earth off to the right in this image. You see that they're not coming to the battle without backup. After sunset tonight, the moon will be chilling just beneath Mars and Saturn. Tomorrow she's close by as well. That massive coronal hole is days away, set to coincide with Mercury conjoining the sun. Last quake watch was a dud. This one peaks Friday. That's the news, folks. Be safe, everyone.